Hello everyone, Reese here with the Grunt Falls Technical Institute. Today we're going to give you a quick demonstration on how to program the CU352 clock program for a Hydra MPC system. So here we are with a close-up of our uh, CU352 controller. So to set a uh, clock program, we're going to hit the right arrow key here and we're going to press this until we scroll over to settings. And then the clock program is found within the primary controller section of settings. So we hit OK here, and you can see here there's our clock program. So we're going to hit OK to go into the clock program. So now what you're going to see is a uh, chart. So the chart will show you your set point pressure um, as it corresponds to the day of the week or the time of the day. So you, we can see here that we've got uh, pressure here on the y-axis and then on the x-axis we've got the days of the week there. The nice thing about the chart as you'll see is that it gives you a graphical representation of what you programmed in so it kind of gives you an idea whether you did it right or not. So what we need to do is we need to enter in events now. So for example let's say that we have an office building that has a normal set point of uh, 65 psi but uh, we know that you know after five o'clock people start leaving, going home, and then the building has got no one in it or very low occupancy throughout the night until the next day. So we'd like to set back the PSI, the set point pressure during the times of uh, zero or very low occupancy. So let's say we want to set our pressure back by 10 PSI. So we'll reduce the pressure from 65 PSI down to 55 PSI during the uh, low occupancy hours um, and then have that remain at 65 PSI during the hours of uh, the building when it's occupied. So what we need to do is enter in events. So we're going to go here and we're going to enter in um, event number one. Actually what we need to do is enable the clock program, otherwise we won't get it. So we're going to go ahead and enable the clock program here and then we're going to enter in event number one. So when we go into the events, you'll see here where each event, you can either enable or disable. So we're going to enable event number one and the operating mode, you can actually have a, a system come to a complete stop for certain hours of the day, but in our case, we want it to run normally at a determined set point. So we're going to have this at 55 PSI, which is good. And then, so at what hour do we want it to go from 65 down to 55 PSI? Let's say that when we know that most people have uh, gone home, so we're going to say 6 PM. So we're going to hit OK there. Uh, if we wanted to, we can make it 6.15 or something. We're going to leave that at uh, zero minutes. And then uh, here's where we can set the schedule. So you can do one each day, um, which is usually not necessary for an office building. But we're going to go like a Monday through Friday schedule. So if you notice here, we can go down here where it says Monday through Friday. So we're going to hit OK. So event number one, we've set up to kick it back to 55 PSI at 6 PM. So that's event number one. So if we hit the back arrow to goes back to our graph, you'll see here where our graph pretty much shows a constant pressure of 55 PSI. But what we need is another event that kicks it back to our 65 PSI set point. So we're going to go to event number two. We're going to go ahead and enable event number two. And then we're going to say we want it to run normally, but now here we're going to set it to 65 PSI. So if you hold down the plus button, once it hits 10, it'll scroll up by 10. Now we're at 60 and then we're going to go 65. And what we're going to do is we're going to kick this back to 65 at a time when we know people are coming into the building, 6 a.m. Probably seven's a good number because that's when you're going to have the, the bulk of the people beginning to show up. You could pick eight too if you wanted to. So we're going to go down here and we're going to go to that same Monday through Friday schedule. So we've entered in two events. So if we hit the back arrow, let's see if we did it right. And as you can see here, looks like we're going up to 65 for a while, coming back down to 55. So it looks like we're, we're good there. Uh, by doing it this way, we got kind of lucky because it's actually staying at 55 PSI over the weekend, Friday, uh, Saturday, Sunday. We actually would like that because we know on the weekend it's going to be lower occupancy. Um, so uh, the nice thing about that graph is it kind of lets you know you've done it right. We can hit the home button here. 
because our time, uh, the actual time right now is, uh, you know, a little after four o'clock, it still hasn't kicked into that 55 PSI. So we're at the right set point, which is 65 PSI. So that's basically how you set the uh, clock program on the CU352. We hope you found this clock program tutorial helpful. Thank you and have a great day.